Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. So happy to have y'all. Yeah, we well, wish you're happy to be here. Yeah, Absolutely. happy, happy, happy. Now, how did y'all two meet originally? How did y'all meet? Well, I was invited to go see a big Kenny show. Uh -huh. And we, we both knew the same girl, Cindy Simmons, who uh -huh. worked for Fender Guitars, and, and she was the artist rep. So she would find artists that she thought might have a shot of doing something big and mm -hmm. say, hey, you want a free Fender guitar? And we're like, yeah. Heck yeah. So she knew Kenny and she knew me, and she kept telling each one of us about the other guy. And I said, I'm going to see a big Kenny show. I said, how is he big? Is he big and tall, big and loud? Big, what is he? <laughs> what she goes, you'll understand when you see it. I said, OK, <laughs> I'll go check him out. I went to go check him out, and I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like that before, ever. I don't really know what that is, <laughs> but I was impressed with it. Yeah. What were you I looking was... at specifically? Well, so Kenny's got this lion mane hair. He's wearing a tank top, and he's singing stuff like, only a rumba away, and all this, like, <laughs> and going from that into, like, hard rock and all this other stuff, and I went, that's really interesting stuff. Uh -huh. And then at the end of his show, he goes, I just want to make sure everybody goes home with something. He reached into this big bag full of those individually wrapped pieces of bubble gum that are like gravel, yeah. basically. Yep. You're not supposed yeah. to it's eat pinata, that. the hard And he goes, rocks, yeah. here you go. Nice and he goes, stuff. zing. And he throws it out across the bar. And the first piece, I saw it in slow motion. Go, whop, 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 whop. Bang. And it hit you right, right the underneath my yeah. hat. And I yeah. went, yeah. now I know I don't like this guy. Yeah. It's like Cupid's arrow. It was kind of a David and Goliath moment there. Right. Man, I'm telling you. But, you know, I. We, we thought the other one was interesting enough that maybe we'd try to write a song together. Yeah. So we wrote a song together one day. That went well. We wrote one the next day, and then the next day, and every single day after that, that's where the Music Mafia mm -hmm. started, was from writing those By songs. By the end of that year, I think we had written and recorded or demoed some 100 songs together. Right, right. So yeah. uh, it was really just a magical thing that happened. And uh, thank you, Cindy Simmons, our, yeah. our friend yeah. out there, the yeah. guitar chick. and and. Uh, Man, here we are today and, and still doing now it. Now you're stuck 15 with us. 15 years, huh? Yeah. 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 So great. Yeah. So great. You guys, you guys transcend. You guys move to we different genres. We call it genres. country music without prejudice. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. We call it. Yeah, and that was really the whole essence of the music mafia. When we all came together as this, this ragtag group of artists that we all knew, songwriters that were, were performing everything from rhythm and blues to country uh -huh. to rock mm -hmm. to rap to right. poetry, to dances. We all just mm -hmm. got together and, and had a good time, just celebrated whatever uh, was new in each other's right. lives and whatever was going on good. We just celebrated that. And, and just a, really a celebration of music without prejudice. We have no Absolutely. prejudice about what we do. We just get out there and do the yeah, best. Yeah, I love that. I remember when I first moved to Nashville, y'all were one of the first people that I met. Right. I mean, John, you and I met early on. I was like, what, 1920? Yeah, you yeah. were fresh off the big TV show and yeah. all that. and. You know, and uh, welcome me with open arms. Right, yeah, and, yeah. and you know, you would be a, a, a great example from your perspective what it must have felt like to be immediately immersed into that level uh -huh. of talent. I mean, you look up and go, who is that girl singing? I go, oh, that's a bartender named Gretchen Wilson. Right. right. Who's right. that big dude in the cowboy hat? That's no, Cowboy no, Troy. Right. He's right. rapping to country music. I go, I know it's crazy. I remember you just going, what is going on around yeah. here? That was really, uh, you know, a big turning point. I've always said the industry can tell you how it's supposed to go, but the artist decide really where it goes ultimately, and then the fans decide ultimately, at the end of the day, where it goes. So as an artist, you gotta be, you gotta be courageous with your art. Mm -hmm. And however it sounds in your head and down in your guts and heart, go like that. Absolutely. Don't try to conform to what they're doing. It's Do your easier thing. to be yourself than to try to be something you're not. Do your thing. They Do don't, yourself, if, they knew, if they knew it that well, they would be doing it. Right. Yeah. We're doing it, you're doing it, right. And your your catalog of the songs that you've written is so extensive. How do you decide, like, you know what, um, that song we wrote, let's give that to this, or let's do this ourselves. How do you decide who sings it, or do you write specifically for an artist? Both. I think it just yeah. uh, happens magically a lot of times. Uh, there's there's really no set way that, that songs end up where they are. You're just making songs, you're making music so much mm -hmm. that you get lucky now and again, and the right person hears, hears it some it. way by by some accident. And it seems like, and next thing you know, the song's on the radio. I mean, but. sometimes we just challenge ourselves. We'll say, like, I remember one day we sat down with our friend Vicki McGeehee, and we said... Who is an amazing songwriter. She's an song incredible writer. songwriter, and we said, you know what we ought to try to do? We ought to see if we can get the phrase butt crack on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> that was our whole challenge that day. Can we get butt crack on country radio? <laughs> yeah. And then this guy you never heard of before named Jason Aldean on a label that had never existed before goes, I'm going to sing the butt crack song. I went, well, good luck with that one, buddy. Yeah. You see what happens. So yeah. Songs, Huge man, you just got to go for it. Absolutely. And I love that y'all always put truth in the form of a song. 
That's the essence of country music. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, songs like the 8th of November is related to veterans across this country from coast right. to coast over the years. Uh, it got the memorial built for the 173rd mm -hmm. Airborne down in Fort Benning, Georgia. We right. uh, still put on a, an event for veterans in Deadwood, South Dakota during the bike rally every year. Right. Um, I mean, the songs just kind of can take on their a, a life of their own and be life-changing not only for us, but so many of our fans out there. Absolutely. You know, I, I, would, I would add that, you know, a song like 8th of November, um, we write that song for our friend. We want to write his story. That was really the reason we wrote the song. And then it takes on a life of its own, like Kenny said, and that really changed our show. It changed our tour. Mm -hmm. Every single night on the Big and Rich Peace, Love, and Happy Hour tour this year and every year prior to this, we have a bar called the Heroes Bar that sits right in the middle of our stage and we invite veterans and active duty up onto the stage and first responders onto the stage and we give them all a shot, a redneck, underneath the Peace, Love, and Happy Hour banner and then we sing God Bless America on the 8th of November every single night. Yeah. That's just one aspect of your tour. Tell us a little bit more about what's going on in this tour. Well, you know, our, our show, you've seen it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just beginning to end. It is just rock em, sock em for 90 minutes and we're all across the United States this year. It's gonna be an incredible tour. Wonderful. Yeah. Got to get you to a show. I know, it'd be awesome, man. Always yes. a good time. We'll give you a tiny little shot. Tiny little yeah. one. A tiny little, a wee little, little, little shot. As big as my hat. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, we actually brought you guys a couple of presents from the tour. Oh, you did? Oh. That's okay. We can give them some presents, right? It's yeah. Good. So. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, you're hooked no up. No way. Yeah. Gotta Look hook you up. Look at this. Are you this. kidding me? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. 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 That is awesome. Got a hat. Got a guitar. I look cool in this hat. There you go. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Everybody needs one. Y'all yeah. watch out. Ben and I are going to start a band. Boom. There we go. Band. Boom. Looking right. good, huh? Yeah. Looking good.